The Danakil Depression is the northern part of the Afar Triangle or Afar Depression in Ethiopia. The Danakil Depression is a plain approximately 200 by 50 kilometers, lying in the north of the Afar region of Ethiopia, near the border with Eritrea. It is about 125 meters, 410 feet, below sea level and is bordered to the west by the Ethiopian Plateau, and to the east by the Danukil Alps, beyond which is the Red Sea. How did the Danakil Depression form? The Danakil Depression formed from the continental drift, of the African and Asian tectonic plates. As the plates drifted apart at a rate of 1 to 2 cm per year, they leave behind a geological depression, known as the Danakil Depression, or a Far Depression. The Danakil Depression sits at the triple junction between three tectonic plates. The Afar Depression spans Djibouti, Eritrea, and the Afar region of Ethiopia. The northern part of this depression is the Danakil Depression, which sits more than 100 meters below sea level and contains some of the world's most extraterrestrial landscapes. Beyond its fascinating geology, the Danakil holds the keys to some of biology's most profound questions. In 1974, researchers found the remains of Lucy in the Danakil Depression, an early ancestor of modern humans dating back 3.2 million years, now on display at the National Museum in Addis Ababa. The acidic springs of the Delol crater have attracted scientists in the search for extremophile microbes as they seek to understand the origins of life on Earth, as well as the possibilities for early stage life on Mars. Danakil Depression Geology the Danakil Depression is home to some of the most fascinating geological structures on the planet. The Danakil is a new ocean basin, meaning millions of years in the future, the Danakil will be submerged in water as the continents are pulled far enough apart such that the Red Sea spills over into the rift, forming a new ocean that splits the African continent in two. For now, the depression is a showcase of incredible geology that looks more Martian than terrestrial. For tourists, the main attractions are the active volcano Erdael, the kaleidoscopic landscape of the Delol crater, the contrasting salt lakes Karim and Aftara, and the sprawling salt pens whereupon local Afar people toil under the sun to export salt back to Makale on the backs of hundreds of camels that form the famous camel caravans that wind through the desert. The salt lakes of the Danakil represent the resting place of the Awash River, which flows upwards from the northern highlands into the Danakil where it evaporates under the heat to form salt pans. The two saline lakes, Lake Ifrera and Lake Karam, remain liquid as they are fed by surrounding hot springs. Is the Danakil Depression the hottest place on Earth? The Danakil Depression is the hottest place on Earth, as measured by average annual temperatures. It's also one of the lowest land destinations on Earth, at over 100 meters below sea level. Average temperatures sit between 35 degrees Celsius and 40 degrees Celsius annually, and the region sees no more than 100 to 200 millimeters of rainfall each year, all of which evaporates immediately under the extreme heat. Why is the Danakil Depression so hot? The Danakil Depression is so hot because of its low elevation, the fact that it is part of the wider Danakil Desert region, and that it experiences little seasonal cooling due to its equatorial position. The Danakil is also close to the Red Sea, a warm sea that does not provide cooling during winters. The best time to visit the Danakil Depression is from September to May. These months see more modest daytime temperatures of 35 to 40 degrees Celsius, 95 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and there are group tours departing regularly from Makale which brings the cost of the excursion right down. Thank you for watching. Leave your impression in the comment below the video.